outside. We'll make sure we're going through the Holy Ghost for our check. <laughs> Amen. Amen. All that do yet? God is a great and marvelous thing. Thank you, God is moving to power and great over. He would honor the words of his people. Amen. But now we get eyes off the word. Amen. Set you to faith of a heavenly thing. Seek those things that are above. Christ is seated on the right hand of God. Amen. Amen. So we can walk in the light of who we are and what we are. Amen. Amen. And this is the hour, and I said it before that you know who you, who you are, who you are, and who you are. Amen. Because there's a lot of time now to be trying to figure it out. There's so much stuff going on. And I said it was Sunday. I went up last Thursday to the uh, great side fair with my brother-in-law, Mr. Maggie. He didn't die from COVID, but got the beat of COVID, an infection set in on his lungs and ate up his lungs. But uh, I know he's with the Lord, but he loved Jesus. Amen. Yes. Paul said to be absent from the body, to be present with the Lord. Be present with the body, be absent from the Lord. Amen. So we know that he's there in heaven with Jesus bodily. I thank God for the Holy Ghost. The Spirit of God that is with us always. Our comforter, our guide, our instructor. He's walking with us. He's inside of us. Jesus said he would, he would never leave him. So he's always with us. Lord, he's with us always. Now the scripture in one place called him the comforter, which is taken from the Greek word parakutos. One sin alongside that help you. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit didn't come to do it, He came to help you. The Apostle Paul had said to uh, Timothy, to stir up the gift that lies within you. So, in order for you to get the Holy Spirit to help you, you got to act like what God says so and believe it with all your heart. Most people don't know how to, and I often say this, and most people miss this, that uh, I'm all of all God. And some people say, oh, he's arrogant, he's high minded, he's hard, he's fraud. Think more highly of himself than he should think. But if Jesus said that in the 17th chapter of St. John, that the glory that he gave, that God gave him, he given us that we may be one even as he and the Father are one. And then he said that we may be one in him. Amen. And he in us. That we may be one with God. So if that chapter teaches us that what God expects of us, that we become one with him, then when I say that I am all of all God, that is not exaggerated, that is not boasting, that is not being high-minded, that is stating fact. Mm -hmm. Sixth chapter book of first Corinthians said that we are, he that is drawn to the Lord is one spirit. So if you're drawn to the Lord, you're one spirit with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Fifth chapter book of Ephesians said we remember his members and bone of his bones. Mm -hmm. So that means we're one with the Lord. So he one with me and I'm one with him and I'm wall to wall. And every born again believer wall to wall. God. Amen. Amen. And then uh, Peter took it up and he said that we have the promises we're made partake of the divine. divine nature. I mean the very life essence of God. That's right. Amen. That's why I like to explain most of the time that the word God is a generic term. It is not a name. Thank you. There are many that would be God. Mm -hmm. There's only one true and living God. That's right. Amen. So we really ought to say that only one uh, divine family. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah. And that divine family is Yah, Yeshua, and Shekinah. Or Yah, Yeshua, and Shekinah. Or Shekinah, Yeshua, and Yah. Yah seated, well, Yeshua seated on the right hand of Yah. And the Holy Spirit, Shekinah, is here with us. Mm -hmm. The glory of God, the Holy Spirit, is in the earth with us. And he's here to transform us, to change us, to look and to be just like Jesus, Yeshua. Amen. 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 There's only three in the divinity of God here. But after uh, we were adopted into the body of Christ, we became one with them. Now, we are part of that divine family. Amen. Amen. And we have rights Thank you, Lord. and privileges by being part of that divine Amen. family. Amen. Sunday we started out talking about covenant. I can't shake it right yet, so we're going to get on it a little bit more. Amen. 
And we talked about the Greek word led more toward meaning of the contract. But under the old covenant, that word for covenant actually meant to cut. Basically to, to enter into a blood relationship. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I want to read from the 70th chapter of Genesis. And when Abraham was 90 years old and 9, the Lord appeared to Abraham. That one there. And said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thy perfect. And I will make my covenant between me and thee, and will multiply thee exceedingly. And Abram fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, and you shall be a father of many nations. Neither shall thy name any more be called Abram, but thy name shall be Abraham. For father of many nations have I made thee. And I will make thee exceeding fruitful. And I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee, and thy seed after thee in their generation, but everlasting covenant, to be a God unto thee, and to thy seed after thee. And I will give unto thee, and to thy seed after thee, the land wherein thou art a stranger, all the land of Canaan for everlasting possession. And I will be their God. And God said unto Abraham, Thou shalt keep my covenant. Therefore thou and thy seed after thee in their generations. We want to go to Galatians, the third chapter, if you will. So God made a covenant with Abraham and his descendants. Mm -hmm. And he gave them the land of Canaan. Amen. Amen. For the inheritance. And there's a battle been going on since 1948 over that land. Mm -hmm. 1967, a uh, few nations, Syria, Saudi Arabia, Lebanon, <coughs> Egypt, I think of one or two more, Jordan, came down against Israel and tried to destroy that small nation. It was only probably about two, between two and three million people at the time. And in a six-day war, are y'all hearing me? In a six-day war, that little nation defeated those mighty nations. Amen. Are y'all here? And solidified their position in Canaan and Palestine. Well, Amen. Because this was according to the 11th chapter of Romans and Isaiah and Ezekiel and Jeremiah. This was the final restoration where God would restore Israel to their homeland where he said they would never be removed again. Amen. Now there's a lot of argument about them being the real Israelites. But the truth of the matter is, <clears throat> after all these generations, of course they will look different. Amen. Thank you. Anybody here they go home? Amen. They were scattered throughout the whole world. Yes. Of course they in America. Mm -hmm. Hello? Mm -hmm. But they can trace their ancestry, many of them, back to the tribes of Israel. That's right. Are y'all here? Even now in this country, Native Americans, if you got, what is it, a third, a fourth or a third of Native American blood in you, then you can inherit whatever whatever they got. Like a lot of them was given money <laughs> for the college. Yeah, so if you uh, got, I think it was a third, a fourth or third one Native American blood in you from that tribe, from that area, you could actually get some money from the government. That's right. Amen. So it's not a, a, a far leap to say that people that uh, can trace a major part of their ancestors back to the Israelite people would be given rights there in Israel. Hello, mm -hmm. somebody. Mm -hmm. So it's not something that's unheard of. Amen. Mm -hmm. But yet there are people that will try to deny them their rights. Right now, there's a group of people that, that, that people of the brother. And they have a lot of melody in their skin. Uh, hmm. Marching with us, actually fighting against them. They call it anti Semitic. Mm -hmm. Anti Semitics. Mm -hmm. Fighting against the Jewish people. But God said if we curse them, we will be cursed. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. He told Abraham, you have an adversary to his adversary, and an enemy to his enemy, and a friend to his friend. Mm -hmm. Anyone that comes against those people, Bring upon themselves the curse and the wrath of God. Mm -hmm. So I warn anybody to the sound of my voice. Mm -hmm. Don't get caught up in it. 
That's right. Because you're doing not on yourself, but your children and your children's children. That's right. Don't let the enemy fool you that there is not a God. There is a divine being that I call Yah, the Bible calls him Yah. He has a son that he called Yeshua, Jesus of Nazareth. And there is the Holy Spirit that we call Shekinah, is the glory of God, God's presence in the earth. And they are for real. That's right. These are not beings that we made up and fantasize about. Mm -hmm. These are beings that do exist, and they are the creators of the whole universe. God, by his word, Yeshua created everything. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he called that to be. So we need to accept it, stop trying to fight it, embrace it, and begin to be what God called us to be. Amen. It's true. Amen. Turn our back on the way of the world and pursue heaven. So in the third chapter of Galatians, the Bible says, and we started this when we were talking about the man being a spiritual being, 13 verse, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. He had made a curse for us, but it written curses in everyone that hangs on the tree. Why? That the blessing of Abraham, everyone here, mm -hmm. the father of the Hebrew nation, the father of the Israelites, mm -hmm. that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentile, that's us who do not have a direct lineage to the Hebrew or the Israelite nation. Through Jesus Christ, we have been adopted, we have been adopted in the beloved, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Hello, sometimes. Amen. That we can have the Holy Ghost because of the covenant that God made with Abraham. If we are in Christ Jesus, if we are in the Lord Jesus, we can have through faith the Holy Ghost. The third person of the Godhead shall come the glory of God. Amen. Amen. One place the Apostle Paul said, Christ in you, the hope of glory. glory. Amen. Christ is not in you, then you don't have the hope for glory. Now, the scripture says in the 16th verse, now that Abraham and his seed, as in one, not as in many, where the promise is made, he said, not as the seeds as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed, which is Christ. So the promise was made to Abraham's seed, Christ, Yeshua, Jesus of Nazareth, who is the Christ, the anointed one of God, the Messiah. It was given to him. That many of us were baptized into his body. We are in Christ, therefore we are Christ. And the promise is, somebody say, to me. Mm -hmm. So he said, and this I say, that the covenant that was confirmed before God in Christ, the law which was 430 years after the covenant that God made with Abraham, cannot disannul that it should make the promise of none effect. But the inheritance be of the law, it is no more a promise, but God gave it to Abraham by promise. So this covenant that we have with God was the covenant that Abraham had with God. Are y'all listening? Yeah. Now there was another covenant that was given at Mount Sinai. But we're not talking about that one that came 400 years later. Mm. We're talking about the one that God gave to Abraham by promise. Mm. Amen. Amen. Are you here? And it was given not only to him, but to his seed. Right. Not seeds as many, but seed as in one. And that seed that the promise was to was to Christ. So all of us that are in Christ are part of that seed. Therefore, that covenant that God made with Abraham is our covenant. Amen. Are you following? That agreement, that pact, that blood pact that God made with Abraham is our covenant. Now, in most covenants, now, I know New Testament changed that word made it a contract, but we're not talking about a contract. We're talking about a covenant that, amen, that God himself made with Abraham. Mm -hmm. And with most covenants in, in ancient civilizations, it was sealed with blood. Mm -hmm. So Abraham offered up, later on you find that 70 chapter, Abraham offered up, in Genesis 70 chapter, Abraham offered up a sacrifice and he cut up the birds and stuff and laid them there and God came down and walked through the pieces. So blood was shed. Mm -hmm. Amen. But that was animal blood. But later on we find that God made a covenant with Abraham that was called circumcision. Mm -hmm. And that was where Abraham, every male child, had to be circumcised. Mm -hmm. Amen. They had to put off their foreskin. Mm -hmm. 
whereby blood was shed by every male child. And if they were not circumcised, they'll be cut off from among the people. Mm -hmm. Are y'all here? Mm -hmm. So man, Amen. but God had not shed blood. Mm -hmm. Are y'all here? Thank you. God had not shed blood. But later on we find that when God told Abraham to offer his only son, Isaac, Hello? Man. To offer him up his only son. But it wasn't really his only son, but you know what I'm saying. There was the one by promise. Man. There was Sarah. Mm -hmm. And so God told him to offer him up as a sacrifice. So when he got ready to kill him, to offer him up as a sacrifice, right before that, brother, when there's only way to the altar, Isaac asked his father something. He said, Daddy, I see the wood, and here's the fire, but where's the lamb for the sacrifice? He was being led dumb to the slaughter, just like Jesus was. <laughs> Amen. Not knowing that what was going on. So he said, Abraham prophesied. Then the man of God in his day, he prophesied. He said, the Lord will provide himself a lamb. So we fast forward to around the second chapter of St. John. When John saw Jesus walking, he said, behold, the lamb of God. That's right. Which take away the sins of the whole world. Jesus was the lamb. Some people say, well, God provided his lamb on, that, on Mount Moriah. No, he didn't. The book said Abraham looked and saw a ram. Amen. Not a lamb. Trot in the thicket. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. A ram, not a lamb. So God did not provide the lamb then. But later on, fast forward into the future, when Jesus was manifested on the earth, when John the Baptist saw him coming, he pointed at him to his disciples and said, Behold, mm -hmm. the lamb of God. Amen. Which have come to take away the sins of the whole world. So it was on Calvary. Hello, somebody. Thank you, Lord. It was on Calvary that God manifested in the flesh. Emmanuel, Jesus of Nazareth, shed his blood. Thank you, Lord. So the pack, whoo. All right. Mm, Jesus. Woo! So the pact, the agreement was complete. Mm -hmm. Not during Abraham's day. Lord. But through during his seed's day. Mm -hmm. When God shed blood. Thank you, Lord. 20th chapter of Acts, the 20th verse said that God purchased the church with his oh, own blood. Lord. And you read the 6th chapter of the book of 1 Corinthians, said that we are bought with a pride of blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So if God bought the church with his own, purchased the church with his own blood, then that meant Jesus was God in flesh. Mm -hmm. St. John 1 and 1, St. John 1 and 14. Mm -hmm. So it shows us that, that God completed the agreement when he sent his son Jesus and he died on the cross. Now the covenant, the pact is complete. What do you mean by that? Not everything the father has. Look. Though all that Abraham had was now transferred to the father. Mm -hmm. And he felt free to ask for Isaac, his son. Mm -hmm. Because everything that Abraham had now belonged to God. After that covenant was made. And God agreed to keep his part of the promise. That he would give his, his seed that land. And God did. For one year later, but he did. Amen. 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 So now, now we see fast forward that God has completed the whole covenant by allowing Christ, his son, to die on the cross and shed his blood. Mm -hmm. Now the blood has mingled with man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's the sprinkling of God's blood that purchased our company dead work to serve the truth of the living God. Now the blood has mingled with man. Hello, oh. God blood. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So by that happening, that gave us access. We are now made nigh by the blood of Jesus. Now that blood has given us access to everything the Father has. Thank you. So what does the Father have? Oh. Oh. Amen. I, I, we all have our own experiences with God and visions and dreams. And there was one man that he went to heaven and he said God had warehouses of hearts and kittens and <laughs> dog blood and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the way he yeah. perceived it. Yeah. That's the way he perceived it. Okay? Mm -hmm. But God is the creator. Amen. Creator. Thank you, Lord Amen. Jesus. I, I might need to say that word one more time. Yah is the creator. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeshua is the creator. Holy Ghost, Shekinah, is the create talk. They don't need to show up now. He created all things 
with his word. Amen. So all he got to do is speak the word. But that was the best way I believe that God could get across to that individual what he was trying to show him. Are y'all here? So I want every one of you to understand that there's no lack of shortage in God. That's right. Hello, somebody. And mm. the reason why there's no lack of shortage in God is because you have a store of stuff. No. You create them. <laughs> see, if you have a store of stuff, you can run out. Yeah. But see, when you when when you are the when you are the creator, <laughs> when when you have this, when you have the, the sewing machine, when you have the weaving machine. When you have the loom and when you have all that, hello somebody, yeah. then you can make your own stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't have to go down to the clothing store. You, don't have, you follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, but we, we've been so prone to, to trying to discern God through our natural means. God has always had to diminish himself just to deal with us. Mm -hmm. But we need to... <laughs> Thank you, Lord. We need to take the... the Take the, the yes. level. We need to take the lever. We need to take the cap off. That's right. We need to blow out the walls. Lord. Solomon said when he was building the temple <laughs> that the heavens of heavens can't hold me. Lord. Neither can this temple that I build with my hands. Mm -hmm. God is so big that there's nothing can hold him. Mm -hmm. So don't let your imagination be limited by your images of this world and the things of this world. Let your imagination soar to the infinite, infinite possibility that God is infinite Glory, and cannot be limited. Are you following what I'm saying? Amen. See, that's that's Shiva Mahati, Shiva Mahasaya. When we understand the concept of a God, most of us understand the concept of God within the reason of supernatural power. God created power. Can you let your mind go and stop thinking about power and understand that God created power? Mm. What being can create power? <laughs> Yah. Yeah. Yah. Mm -hmm. So we start trying to define power by it feels like fire. It feels like heat. <laughs> feel like electricity. So whenever we feel it, I feel God. Mm. You don't feel God. You just feel the wind blowing. <laughs> and you really don't feel the wind, you just feel the friction of the wind passing by. Right. Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? Take the limit off of God. Oh, hallelujah. For Jesus has completed a covenant pact that God made with man through Abraham, his friend, that hallelujah. have given us access. Mm -hmm. This covenant that given us access, now I'm going to say this and we're going to mess somebody up that get it, divinity. Thank you, Lord. We have entrance into divine nature. Mm. The human becoming divine. Amen. The human leaving humanity, mortality, and stepping over into immortality. Mm. Mm -hmm. The human leaving the limit, the, the limit, the flesh, and stepping over into the God who of Thank unlimitedness. You. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's what we have, that's what Jesus made possible. And somebody said, well, I just can't agree with that. Well, why did he say in the ninth chapter of Mark in the 23rd verse, all oh, things God. are possible. What part of all you, all you don't understand? <laughs> all things are possible in him that believe him. And then speaking of God in the 25th verse of the 10th chapter of Mark, he said, with God, all things are possible. Amen. He put the believer in the same realm, in the same category as Yah. Mm -hmm. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Hallelujah. The Bible said in Isaiah, uh, help somebody, that he said in the 55th chapter of the third verse, I think it was, so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me more, but it shall accomplish that in which I please and profit in the thing whether to I sin it. Then Jesus turned around, fast forward into the new covenant, the establishment of the new covenant. Jesus said in Mark 11 chapter and the 22nd verse, said, have faith in God. 23rd verse, said, but verily, truly, I say unto you, Mm. That whosoever, whosoever will say to this mountain, mm. be removed and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he says. He, he shall have whatsoever he says. So that means whatever goes out their mouth is not going to come back more. But it will come to them which they please and probably the things for the two days sin. That put them right in the same category with the divine. <laughs> Hallelujah. We haven't been able to see this because people <laughs> hey. are trying to relate.
take to God based on their five senses, oh, what they have oh. received in this world. How can you face what your relationship on God and who God is on what you have experienced when you are a human being? You are a limited person. God is unlimited. What can you describe him by? Thank you, Lord. There is nothing we can describe him by on this earth. So just let your mind go. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hello. He said, you. no man hath known the fathers after whom the Son revealed. revealed. Once, oh, come on, this year. Once the Son revealed the Father to you, you let all that go. Mm. Your mind almost goes in. <laughs> That's what happens. Because your mind all of a sudden says, how can it be? The reason why it can be because we're not talking about man. We're talking about the divine. Mm. You know they got this thing, Lord. They got this thing they want to tell every one of y'all you came from a monkey. Mm. They lie. Yeah, and they want to tell you that you evolved. I mean, if we evolve, oh, we're in some bad shape. Because mm -hmm. I see all I see is a whole bunch of chaos and confusion and people running around acting like animals. Mm -hmm. I ain't go there with you because I can explain to you what I mean. But I'll leave that alone. But man did not evolve. In mm -hmm. They have found inventions and different things in archaeology that boggles the mind. That's right. Things that man cannot accomplish. Mm -hmm. And with the technology we have today. They we do not have a machine. The Great Pyramid mm -hmm. that can move one stone. That they built the Great Pyramid out of. Thank you. It's not a machine in existence. So how in the world? Thank and then the, 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 the groove is so tight that mm. nothing can pass through. Mm. That means it was cut so smooth mm. that it fitted flat. There's no device known today that can cut that smooth. Mm. How could that be? But yet we evolved. Mm. Now here, here comes the nugget here. Aliens came from outer space <laughs> and built it for them. Yeah, well, here's the revelation. <clears throat> Yah, the divine, said in the Godhead, let us make man in whose likeness? <laughs> in our image and out of our likeness. So if the divine created a being in his image and out of his likeness, so what would that being be like? <laughs> like the divine. Thank you. So what kind of knowledge did that the person have? Exactly. Well, the first man yeah, named was. every animal on the face of this earth. Mm. How is that possible? He had access to the divine. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Everybody everywhere that is the time my boss ought to be losing their mind right now. Lord. I said, what if you done tapped into? The Bible. Amen. That's the Amen. truth and the revelation in the scripture. But people weren't preaching, they weren't teaching because they were scared. They were afraid. <laughs> this covenant is more than just getting saved so I can go to heaven. Amen. God didn't save you to go to heaven. No. He saved you to be you his not, son. That's right. Amen. Amen. Him. Glory to God. Mm, 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 mm. He saved you to be his son. Glory. Amen. I'm about to lose right over there. So we sit back and we come to church. And, and we go through these little routines. I watch people, they look like they get so happy, get so excited, that they go right out that door and act like that spirit chief. Mm -hmm. Go right back acting like an ordinary human being. Mm -hmm. So they still they get. Mm -hmm. The wind made them move. And they didn't understand where the wind came from. You know Jesus say? <laughs> Glory to God. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? They didn't understand where it came from. They just, they just assumed it for them to shout, jump, run them down. No! He came to transform you, to change you into the Son of God. He's supposed, that's what was supposed to happen. You're supposed to become more like the Son of God than you were before you came. That's the whole movement of the Spirit of God upon you, to transform you into the image of Christ. But yet they go back the same way they came, because they don't let it work on you. I used to say this all the time, people couldn't get it. When the Lord of God on me real strong, I become so mellow. So full of love. And sometimes it's almost like a God life. Mm. I can't explain to you that experience. And then I don't give me no feeling of want to run down the house screaming out. 
it gives me a word that I, 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 I'm, I'm cautious to say, I'm not present. It makes me tap into who God is, and I sense God everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I hate when people break it, pull me back to that, that earthly level. Because <laughs> I'm trying to ascend. Not literally leave here, but ascend in the sense of awareness mm -hmm. of what God is doing in the earth. Lord, thank you. Hello, somebody. Man, you done lost your mind when you talk. Calm-minded people, they'll never get there. Never. Because a natural-minded person cannot receive the things of God, hello, because they're spiritually discerned and they're foolish to a natural-minded person. Mm -hmm. It is written. That's not original, not the problem, that's written according to the Holy Ghost. So that's why I don't need to be concerned about people getting angry. So that covenant has allowed us access into the infinity, the infinity <coughs> of God. The infiniteness of God. Glory to God. The allness of God. Y'all got it? Thank you, Lord. The eternalness of God. Hallelujah. They have given us access into it. But most people have that walk in it because they have become what we would call frightened by what they would lose up. Lose, lose. Because mm -hmm. they would still crave the pleasures of the flesh. Mm -hmm. Can I read a scripture? And I'm going to read it. Y'all do what you want to do with it. Hebrews, 11th chapter. You can accept it, reject it, embrace it, do whatever you want to do with it. Hebrews, 11th chapter. This is Bible class, so I take my time to do this. I want you to get this. Hallelujah. One of the, one of the most amazing things. Y'all know what? I cannot read my Bible. I can go <laughs> I miss the page, y'all. For one minute, gotta grab another Bible. I miss the page. So what happened? Where am I? Mm -hmm. yeah. 11th chapter of the book of Hebrews. Most of us know that. Most of us know it anyway. Give me a minute. This is this one. All right. smaller right so I got to pull this out. So it says in the 11th verse, I'm going to start reading the 11th verse. Because of faith, Sarah herself received physical power to conceive a child even when she was long past the age. But because she considered God who had given her the promise to be reliable. Excuse me, let me go back to the King James. I missed y'all a little bit. She was past the age because he judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore, spring that even of one, and him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky, and multitude, and as the sand of Tomonite, and as the sand which is by the sea, shore, and new. These all died in the faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For they that seek such, say such things, declare plainly, what? That they seek the and truly, if they had been mindful of that country from where they came out, they might have had opportunity to what? Return. Uh -huh. I need to read that one more time. Mm -hmm. But they that say such things declare, see he said, and embrace them and confess that they were strangers and pure on earth. But they that say such things, quote me word, declare plainly that they seek a country. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from which they came out of, the life you came out of, Egypt they came out of, yeah. they might have had an opportunity to have returned. Mm -hmm. Now watch it. But now they desire a better country. What kind of country? Yeah. They're yeah. heaven. Yeah. Yeah. People whose heart is not designed heavenly things cannot comprehend what I'm talking about. Can't do it. And they will never enter into that which is spiritual of God. They might have something that was spiritual that's not of God, but they ain't going to get into this. Because their mind is on where they came from. Right. Remember uh, Lot's wife? Yeah, little bad. God, the angel brought them out of Sodom to save their life, but and this woman couldn't accept it and look back. Her heart was in Sodom. Her heart was in Sodom. Well, the book said, wherever your treasure is, yeah. your heart, but Jesus said, wherever your treasure is, there will your heart be also. 
The reason why people can't get this is because their heart is not in God. It's in the Word. Now, if I start talking about how God can bless you with money, how God can enrich, enrich your, you know, make you rich, <laughs> oh, they, they ever go, will go grow big. <laughs> Their heart will be in love. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Their heart will be in love. Uh -huh. But the reality of it is, that greed and covetousness, and they just long after the things of the world. Amen. Hello, somebody. But those that acknowledge that we are strangers, we are pilgrims in this earth, hello, somebody, we're not even concerned about what we came out of. We head somewhere. Yes. Paul said, but if you can't be risen with Christ, Lord. if you say you're born again, you're supposed to be risen with Christ. Amen. Seek what? Those things, those things are above. above. Lord, Christ is seated on the right hand of the man going high. Set your affection upon heavenly things. It is written. So when someone don't understand, when you start talking about spiritual things, heavenly things, I don't care how long they've been in the church, that means they still compromise it, they still flesh it, they still love the world. Let me read this one more time, because this is power. Lord. I'm going to start in 13 verse one more time. These all died, not having received the promises, yet having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from which they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. So, yep. Esteeming the reproach of Christ, greater riches than the treasure of respect under recompense of the reward. Mm -hmm. That's the 26th verse. So Moses saw this. Yeah. And he endured as seeing him that was invisible. Moses saw this. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. But then when people hear me talk about this covenant, what we do is give them access to, they get lost. Because their pastors and their preachers are still ignorant and still unlearned and still babies. They are novices and need to be taught. The oh, they get mad at me when I say stuff like that until they sit down with me and I start throwing the book at them. You are a pastor and you don't know the word of God. You lost. That's our lingo. That's our language. Amen. We spoke. That's, that's ABC. What happened when I started talking about heavenly things? Knowing that, being known as you are known. Being at all places at the same time. You done lost your mind, boy. You done gone fool. You done gone crazy. Yep, yep. That's exactly what they be saying. You done lost it. Because they're still thinking in earthly terms. Mm -hmm. The blood of Jesus that ratified a new covenant between us and the Father, it actually solidified the covenant that God made with Abraham and not only gave us dominion and authority on the earth, but also since we have been raised up together with him and seated in the heavenly places in him, and according to Romans 8, chapter and the 17th verse, have become joint heirs with him. Amen. Whatever Jesus inherited from the Father, we inherited. Amen. Oh, shot. Oh, keep my post. See out. Lord. Woo! Thank my Lord. See out. What, what is it that we inherit? God. Amen. So what has God got? Oh. Oh. Amen. Oh. Everything. Thank you, Lord. Are you understanding it? So we get caught up on looking at the temple and, and, and that which is passing away. And then we get the word about, oh, I'm looking forward to the day that I can be transformed and get my new body and create my own world. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. Amen. 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 There was something that happened some years ago back in the 80s or uh, the late 70s that I was talking about who we were in God and who God is to us. And I was talking about what we could do. And I said it standing in the pulpit. And I said, plan B. And it was right after that, they discovered something floating around out there on the skirts of our galaxy or solar system, whatever you call it, that looked like a new plan. <laughs> Thank you. And one of the deacons came to the church and stood up and said, you know, Pastor Clausen stood up here and y'all remember when he said it. He said, Planet B, and he would just demonstrate. He said, but they discovered another rock out there. <laughs> now I'm not saying that happened because I said it. Are y'all hearing me? Mm -hmm. But it might have strange that it, it didn't get discovered until after I said it. Man. But I'm trying to illustrate something. I'm not trying to see it happen because I said it didn't happen because I did it. Who knows? Only God knows. Mm -hmm. But the point is that we spend so much time trying to be like the, the animals. Mm -hmm. 
that God, I believe God is crying. But very few of his children have begun to realize and embrace who they are. Mm -hmm. They're still wrestling and struggling with it. I just want to be happy. <laughs> I just want to have just enough. Well, I don't want to have just enough. Amen. I don't want to be happy. I want to be joyous. Thank you. I want to be in the spirit. Mm -hmm. I want to have joy. <laughs> Hello. Amen. Thank you. I don't want to be to where I can be afraid of dying. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I want to be to where death has no power <laughs> over me. <laughs> I don't want to be to where I'm walking around because of COVID-19. Scared to be near people, around people. <laughs> Scared to touch this and touch that. Because I make Thank you. Mm. I want to be where if the economy collapse yeah, and I'm concerned about how in the world I'm going to survive, I'm going to pay my bills, I'm going to get food to I want to be in a place where none of these things matter. Because all I have to do is say, just say the Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. But you can't get there if you don't start appropriating mm -hmm. the promises that God has given you. Paul said, have therefore these precious promises yeah. that will cleanse ourselves from the filthiness of flesh and spirit. spirit. See, you got to get that flesh under subjection in order for those promises to become a reality. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, and I don't like to keep repeating myself, but I do because, you know, uh, re repetition is good for those that don't pay attention. When Jesus said, for very life, say to you, whosoever shall say, whosoever shall say, whosoever. What's whosoever? Everybody, anybody. Say that one more time, dog. Everybody, anybody. There's everybody and anybody that will say to the mountain, mm -hmm. be removed, be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in their heart. But believe that those things which they say shall come to pass, they shall have whatsoever they say. They say. Now, who do you say can do that? Yeah. Anybody and everybody. Yeah. Whosoever that has faith in God. Lord. Hey! You are say you Hallelujah. 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 There's another blow trying to attack the United States down there mm -hmm. in the southern ball. Yeah. Another demon trying to rise yeah. up. May God smite it, break up, scatter it to the four winds of the earth, and it just die right where it's in. Glory. In Yeshua's name. Thank in you, Jesus' name. Hallelujah. May God bring it to naught. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. But you know, the thing that, that amazes to me is that when God offered this to us, it was not yesterday. It was not. Monday. <laughs> it was not last week. It was not last year. Ooh. It was 2,020 years ago yeah. that God offered us access. <laughs> Woo! Yay! Hallelujah! He offered us access. Hallelujah! Entrance into everything that He is. <laughs> the blood of Jesus has ratified the covenant that God started with Abraham and he has finished it. He sat down. Finished. You don't sit down to his finish. He went back to the right hand of the Father and sat down. The covenant is complete. Access has been given. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh. Access is yes. Thank you, God. Access has been given. We can come boldly to the throne. Yeah. Without fear. Without timidity. Mm -hmm. Knowing that the Father will accept us. Glory be to God. And the, and the angel will say, the angel will say, bow the knee. Bow the knee. Yes, the king's Lord. kid is coming. Jesus. Bow the knee. The king kid is coming. Yes, and all the host of heaven will bow as you pass by the go yes, to the throne Lord. of the Father. Because Lord. you have access. The covenant is complete. Lord. Accepted the blood. He has accepted the blood of Jesus. And I saw it one time. I was I 
I'm praying and I'm, I'm seeking God and I'm meditating on that scripture. And all of a sudden it said the, the blood of spring is speaking but better than that of the blood of it. All of a sudden I saw the blood and it was moving. Yeah. It was alive. Yeah. It was saying something. Crying out to the Father, this is one of mine. <laughs> this is one of mine. All that I have is now there. Amen. See, see, that's what happened in the covenant. See, each one, whatever they got, it now belongs to the other one. Hello, somebody. They combined their wealth. See, we gave ourselves to him. We are bought with a price. The blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. So we gave ourselves to him, and he gave himself to us. Woo! Woo! What did he hold back? Nothing. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Glory to God. The demon said to me, Who are you? I said, it's a Child of God. He come out. <laughs> That's right. Why? Because you have to recognize the fact that I didn't say Anthony. I didn't say Bishop Cross. No. I got my behind me. <laughs> Child of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You, you really. I didn't hesitate. You really believe your job is off? Who you think you are? Child of God. Look at David saying, I'm a child of God. I'm a child, child of God. God. And I'm not just saying it to be religious even. Say it. And I'm not just saying it to be religious even. It's a fact. It's a fact. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. See, when I was in Anthony's biological father's house, but I wanted to go get a drink of water. I didn't have to ask. <laughs> what I needed to eat, I didn't have to ask. Mm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Woo, Glory! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Woo! You understand what I'm saying, Saint? When you're a child of the house, you don't have to ask <laughs> for what you need. Thank you, Jesus. He knows. He knows. But you have to be before you ask. Him. And it is written, He gives you all things. Richly to be in your Somebody said, well, why I can't possess it? Because you're not using your mouth right. <laughs> You've been saying what that old flesh been saying. Yeah. If yeah. you want to inherit what the Son of God has, you got to start talking what the Son talks. That's right. Hello? He said, what do you have? Uh -huh. We just got, this young lad brought his lunch. He got two loaves and five fish. Is that enough to feed this whole multitude? Bring it in. He looked up toward heaven and blessed it. He said, now take it and set it before the Lord. Thank you. To be 5,000 men besides women and children. Give every man a wife and every man and wife a child. That's 15,000 people. Mm -hmm. That ate from that little boy's blood. Glory to God. Two, two loads, five fish, and five loads, two big ones. Whatever it was. They dined that day without having to spend a penny. Because the son, not God, the son, knew who he was. Thank you. And what he had. Thank you. And come here, Holy Ghost, I'm about to run about it. <laughs> and spoke the word. Hallelujah. Be fruitful. Amen. And multiply. Mm -hmm. And they said it before the people. Mm -hmm. And it kept on multiplying until they fed everybody and stopped. Then they took up 12 baskets full of fragments. Mm -hmm. They called the sun. Mm -hmm. Bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But that was Jesus. Mm. 17th chapter of the book of St. John. Amen. I'm trying to tell you what this covenant has done for us. Mm. And you still talking about, but that was Jesus. Well, if you in Christ, and Christ in you, what does that make you? 
Thank you. If you're in Christ and Christ is you, that'll make you Christ. The eighth verse said, Jesus talking to the Father, For I have given unto them the words which thou gave of me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from you, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. Now watch this. I want y'all to get this now. I want this thing to, to get rooted and grounded in your spirit. So when you walk out that door, your whole consciousness and awareness become that of you, a son of God. Thank you, Lord. And all mine are thine. All mine. And thine are mine. <laughs> and I am glorified in them. So all mine are thine. Are thine. All that is mine, Father, is yours. And all that is yours is mine. And I'm glorified in them. Know who you are and whose you are. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And I come to thee, Heavenly Father, Holy Father. Keep through thine own name those whom thou have given me, that they may be one as we, what? As we are. I want you to hear this prayer. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gave me, I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son that was Judas, that the scripture might be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilling themselves. I've given them thy word, and the world hated them, because they're not of the world, even as I'm not of the world. See, if you want to be of the world, you can't get this. Do it. I don't want to be of the world. I want that. Amen. I want that. I want that. Which he has given me. Y'all that is. God. I pray not that thou should have taken them out of the world, but you should keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I'm not of the world. Amen. That's talking about you and I. Amen. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is true. As you have sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. Thank you, For their sake I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone. Now this is where we come in because we weren't there. But watch this. But for them also which shall believe on me through their word. That includes us. Mm -hmm. Because this word was passed down from preacher to preacher to preacher to preacher. Then they finally put it in print and we got it from 